So today we're looking at the Mezco 112 Collective DC Constantine figure. Here's the front of the box looking very nice. I like the art. On the side it has some pretty cool art too. On that side and on the other side. While on the back side we get a look at what he comes with. Right there all the accessories and the figure itself. And before we get started here I do want to shout out OneStopToyShop.com. If you guys are trying to get your hands on Constantine or any Mezco figure for that matter, anything recently like Predator, The Crow has come out as well, and Constantine, all available on OneStopToyShop.com. I'll leave a link down below in the description so you guys can check it out. Um, and yeah, I do recommend them. They normally give you guys free shipping so you don't have to worry about that extra charge that Mezco.com will give you. So it's always best to go through him, at least in my opinion. So here he is out of the box. This is how he comes uh, right out of the box with this head sculpt and, and these hands and, and just like this. Now he comes with a lot of accessories. So that is something that is worth noting because he is just packed full of accessories. He has four head sculpts, including the one you see on the figure right now. And the head sculpt does seem like it's a little bit big for the body. I don't know if it's just me, but it seems like it's a tad bit big. Maybe it'll look normal once I put in the trench coat on, but let's go through the head sculpts real quick. So we have this one, which is the one that comes packed in. Pretty normal, nothing crazy there. Then we have this one right here, which just gives him a slight smirk. You see the difference. And then we have this one, which he looks like he's been in some, some fights. All bruised up with, with a, you know, a bandage on his nose, some scratches on his forehead. The detail here is awesome. I mean, that looks so good really really looks good you see how the eye is swollen as well we got another stitch or band-aid here on his chin so very very nice and then last but not least we have this one here which is just another variation of the beat up head sculpt uh, he's actually smiling here even though he's more swollen his eyes completely shut now on this side so it's just a different variation of that in case you wanted to play around with some different looks of the uh, you know the battle damage version of his head sculpt so the detail very very good this is a uh, very nice this gives me like Punisher Mezco vibes back when they gave us that OG Punisher with the beat up head sculpt so very nice here all right so the figure actually comes packed in with a few extra accessories that are not advertised on the box art at all and I'm guessing that has to do with DC saying no to weapons and cigarettes and all that but he does come with a weapon and he he does come with cigarettes so this gun right here is not advertised on the box at all but he does come with it so we have a little rifle right here very cool overall i like it and then we have a bunch of smokes here so here's one of them and i believe they're all the same, but you can see here the smoke effect coming off from it. Uh, here's the next one. I think they're all the same. They just give you a whole bunch of them. So there's three of these uh, with the smoke effect coming off of the cigarette. And then we get all of these cigarettes. Look at this. They went crazy with it. I can't even count how many there are in there, but there's, there's a lot of them that are without the smoke. There's a few of them with the, like, the end of them kind of bent so like he's putting the, the cigarette out or something and then there's at least three with a little bit of smoke coming off of it off the tip though so you have a lot of variations of cigarettes uh, in which you can display them and then you can even give some cigarettes to some other figures if you wish because there's plenty of cigarettes here so I think that's cool that they still included it even though um, you know I guess DC's being a jerk about stupid stuff I mean these are adult figures you know adult collectors are going to buy these figures so they should be included so I'm glad that Mezco found the way to work you know work around that dumb rule that DC is doing for their figures uh, for weapons and you know s you know cigarettes and stuff like that so that's cool and then the last batch of accessories that are not promoted on the box are these lighters so we have the lighter with the with the fire so it's ignited and then we have one that is closed so you can display them in whichever way you want so that there alone uh mezco gained some respect points from me just for including that and not trying to sell it as a separate pack release like they had to do with the two-face uh, where we have to buy the rumble society weapons pack to give him his own revolver so i'm glad that he still managed to pack in the 
accessories that this character needed. Now going forward, these are all accessories that we know was coming with the figure that's advertised on the back. We have this dagger right here. Then we get this blade, this sword, very nicely detailed and painted. Then we have this cross. We get these awesome hands here with a bunch of cards, and these cards are gigantic. I think they're supposed to be big, or pages or something, but two hands here so you can, you know, finger through all of those, and they're all different too, you can see. But you can get it to focus, you can kind of see what's on there. They're all different. All right, and then we get standard open hands here. A pair of grabby hands. These hands here, which are slightly different pose, but this is the pair right here, you can see. We got a left open calm hand and a right gripping hand so you can grip an accessory. We get a right trigger finger hand which probably serves as the cigarette hand. And then we have this trigger finger hand right there so they're slightly different. And then we have a right calm hand. We also get three of these swirly smoke effects right here. We get two of these flame effects. And then we get these effects here for his hands. Very Doctor Strange-esque. We get some more effects that go around his wrists. And then here's some even smaller ones as well. There's a chainsaw accessory, which looks pretty cool. The little handle here moves. And then last but not least, we get his trench coat. All right, so taking a closer look at the figure, he comes out of the box like this. His shirt's actually supposed to be like this, where the little flap is hanging out from the front. His tie is loose. He's supposed to be all messy. So that's not an error. You're going to get it like that. You're not, you know, I almost try to tuck it in, but uh, that's how it's supposed to be right there. Overall, the fit is pretty good. The shirt fits on good. The pants are fitted on pretty good too. Doesn't look ridiculous. Doesn't look big or anything. So they're doing a good job with the tailoring for sure. So really no complaints there. I'm liking the body. It looks like it's one of the Gomez bodies. I could be wrong, but somebody correct me. We do get the double jointed elbows and the double jointed knees here. So very nice. This is what John Wick should have came on. And we all know how that figure turned out. The head sits on a separated from the neck joint here so it goes down it goes up uh, left and right it tilts the neck is articulated and all that we get the diaphragm joint at the torso goes all the way around goes forward and back side to side swivels as well as the waist too uh, the arms are going to go out they're going to go forward all the way up they're going to go down there's a bicep swivel i showed you guys the elbow swivel at the wrist with a hinge the uh, legs are going to kick forward just fine. In and out, about that far. Thigh swivel, double joint and knees again. We have the swivel at the at the shoe, at the boot. Uh, ankle hinge, very tight, doesn't go forward too much. Goes back a little bit. Uh, the, the rocker, not, not much. Pretty much non-existent there, so there's just a swivel. All right, and here's a quick look at him with his trench coat on. That's pretty cool. This is a bendy wire, so it's a little weird right now, but you can bend it back. And get it out there or you can get it you know where you can tie his coat together so it's all bundled up like that it's up to you i'm gonna leave with the open look here that fits well it's just gonna limit some of the articulation on the arm for sure since it gets a little thicker here so the arm's not gonna be able to move forward so much you can still bend it you probably can still get him smoking a cigarette but um you know the range is definitely more limited with the coat on right there on the arms there for sure you can see here with the coat on, it makes the head look not so big anymore. So I think that's probably what they were going for. So that the head didn't look too small. So, but I think it looks pretty good. So here's just a quick little display with him in the uh, cigarette that has a lot of smoke coming from it. And then the lighter on his, on his other hand there. So I can't get it completely to his mouth because of the trench coat. Oh, there it goes. And also the cigarette hangs in there pretty pretty lightly so it could fall off it's not like a super tight squeeze again i think this is the hand this hand is probably mainly meant for the weapon but you could definitely fit the cigarette in there if you uh have enough patience he's got to pinch it and then make sure yeah make sure it doesn't move something like that that'll work so i think it's cool that they included it after all you know and then here we have him with some of those cards and his rifle in hand right there so another cool cool look here with the trench coat and all there's also bendy wires on the edge of this coat i didn't mention that earlier but there is so you can kind of wind sweep it or wind sweep it that's the word 
uh, you know, make it look like it's in motion in the air there. Pretty dope. I like that look. Alright, so here he is next to the Mezco 112 Collective Predator figure. This is the most recent Mezco figure I've gotten. You can see how much taller the Predator stands over Constantine here. And then here's a look at him next to just a Sovereign Knight Batman. Right there, I think that looks pretty good. Alright you guys, that's going to conclude my review on the Mezco 112 Collective DC Constantine figure. If you are a DC fan, Constantine fan, then this figure is probably one of the best Constantine figures that you can get your hands on in this scale. I think it came out very, very good. I'm just not very knowledgeable on the character. I don't really have any attachment to the character to the point where it's going to make me want to put it on my top 10 list. As a figure itself, I think it's deserving to be on top 10 list for sure, but I feel like it might get uh, bumped off on my list because of a figure that is more uh, you know a figure that i'm more attached to or i'm more of a fan of if, if that makes sense but as a figure this is definitely one of mezco's best probably probably the best mezco figure this year this is exactly what they're capable of and they always do a good job when it comes to their tailoring their jackets their suits all of that they do a very good job. They just happen to mess up with John Wick. You know, I wish they can go back and make a, a remake of that John Wick and give him a proper figure because I, I'm still not a fan of that. But look at this compared to that figure. You know, I don't even have that John Wick to compare this figure to anymore because I got rid of it. I didn't like it that much. But this thing looks so good. It really does. And this is a figure I wasn't even excited for i wasn't even i almost didn't get the figure on top of that you know so uh, i'm definitely glad i i managed to uh to jump on it and to check it out because i think it came out very very good but let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section don't forget if you're interested in this figure you can pick it up right now on one stop toy shop they still have some available but i feel like this guy's gonna sell out and I feel like once he's gone, he is going to be uh, up there in price. So I, f I think you guys should, if, you know, if you're on the fence about this guy, if, you're, if you've been thinking about the figure, uh, about getting it, I think, I think you should jump on it before it's too late. So with that said, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like, comment, subscribe if you haven't done so already. And as always, take care, take it easy, and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.